Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm messing things up pretty good tonight. Uh, we were playing um, Rolling Thunder Skyhawk by uh, Stephen Dixon and um, Bob Best. And it's going to be put out by Legion Games. This is testing only. Um, and I'm sitting here setting my game up on camera. And I uh, started answering an email to Tom Conzal about the uh, the uh, altitude flag that I added in the vessel and answering another question about AGM-12s because some of the, well, there's a question about AGMs on the outside um, carrying station. You can only carry them in the inside. I saw somebody else had the same, did the same thing. Um, yeah, compromises are to be made in this game. So, um, I, anyway, I did all that live, and there's a lot of dead air, so I started over. So we already went through rolling the game up. Um, here's what we have. I rolled for a veteran. Uh, we're going to bomb an airfield um, in Hanoi, and I've decided to go for 500-pounder SEs, which were allowed on the centers. Oh, not centers, in, in inboard sections, and 250-pound snake eyes on the outbound, or outboard, and then my usual 400-gallon fuel tank on the center line. Um, should give me a pretty good chance to put some hits on target and still survive the mission. We took off okay. We flew up into the inbound event, and that's where I put my height my altitude flag on and completely spaced things out why I sent Tom an email which got me into another one so here we are um, we go to the launch uh, not a launch the inbound random events we roll seven no event which is good and um, we're going to turn go to aerial refuel this one's the important one. Aero refueling box. Ten. Or zero. Oh, Jesus. I just rolled this in the last one. Oh, boy. Roll one die ten. Zero. Skyhawk unable to transfer fuel. Move the Skyhawk directly to the transit to carrier box and complete the sequence of pay from that point to the landing on the carrier. Um, you don't need to see this twice. So because I'm testing and we're trying to showcase a game and you just saw me have catastrophic incident here in my last video, we're going to try to roll this one again. Um, we don't need to see that twice. We want to actually show what some of the uh, game mechanics are. Five, successful refueling. So because we successfully refueled on our second mulligan, um, we do not have to do the fuel check right here. And I question that. I'm going to pause this a second. I know I read in there that it says if you do have a successful, at least I think I know I read in there, um, refueling. But if you don't have successful refueling, you got to go straight to the transit box and or you go down. Which is what happened to me. I uh, collided with the tank or damage. No, I didn't. I exploded um so either way you're going straight to here so that makes that fuel check not needed so now i'm going to pause this and read my rules i'll be right back yeah that kind of is an unnecessary box the way i'm reading that the rules in the support attacks box says when the pilot a player moves the skyhawk into the sab support attacks box a fuel check on table say seven is made if the sky, sky, Skyhawk had an unsuccessful refueling rendezvous in the ARB. The ARB is the aerial refueling box. In the aerial refueling box, this is what we roll. 
So a catastrophic accident, we can't go into that box. We missed a rendezvous, no fueling occurs, mission aborted B. We go straight to the transit to carrier box and complete the sequence of play. Um, so in neither of the unsuccessful attempts are we moving to the support attack. So either this fuel check box is unnecessary or something needs to be changed. So that's a comment we'll have to make up. Let me pause this while I'm looking this to you. I still need to sit. All right, just send my observations. And yes, yeah, I read through that. That fuel check will probably never happen. And I did this again. I really probably need to separate the the um, charts again because when I roll for that's how bad it is. Uh, planning events. We never get to that um, unless we roll for it. We never get to this. So I'm in, I, I keep forgetting to see this. I think I need to separate that back out. And um, that's an important role. And with it being in the planning events, I don't normally hit this chart unless it calls for it in the gazetteer so i found that since i combined them like they come in the charts that i miss this one a lot and uh, so i think for vassal purposes i will go in and edit that and actually let me do that right now because that will show up and it won't mess my save game up i'll be right back all right there we go now we won't forget it again and i also moved the gazetteer up there before the weather because i'd like to check the target before i get the weather then go through, see what support I got, and then choose my, my munitions accordingly. So, um, okay, so we, oh, wow, Order, we're going to get six uh, units. So let's go with, I like the A6 intruders. And I like the um, Phantoms. I know it's not historically accurate, but you know what? We're going to go with that. These all come up into here. Now, we should have done that earlier. But because I had that chart in there, I keep forgetting things. So we're going to, that'll go out on the next uh, test run. We will definitely not leave that 4.1 um, there. That That's confusing crap out of me. All right, so two things. I, I don't know why I didn't pick up on that one earlier. The fuel then, and this I just made a change on. So that's why I didn't have that. Um, let's go to... Our intruder, intruders, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick both of them up in the ECM. That will give us plus two against the AA and the SAMs. Um, take a small arms with him. Triple A with him. SAM with him. MIGs with him. All right, so now we go to... See if the SAM is turned on and off. That's the other thing I forgot to mention is I do not like um, charts, not charts, but rolls that you have to make that you got to go back in the manual and find because I tend to find them. Uh, lose. So I would, I got to make a comment on that. I would like to see the uh, these kind of rolls mentioned as a chart. 
um, or as a note on a chart because they're very hard to find in the rule book. And so I, it's easy on Vassal. You can include them just like this, but uh, I can't distribute Vassal with charts. So there we go. Um, let's see. Um, so on a die of zero to three, the stamps are off, and they are off. We'll bring the radar off. So we go in out of this U.S. support fire attacks against the, the uh, North Vietnamese defenses, and uh, we'll start with the F4 Phantom. And um, the weather's good, and we're going to be adding uh, plus one for each one for the Sam's and AA only. So, um, he just straight up roll. Four is going to be a miss. Um, against triple A, that's going to be plus two. Seven, eight, nine. That's going to be a knocked out. Against the Sam's. 8, 9, 10, doesn't matter, knocked out, nice, that's a nice clean sweep in the first engagement, usually I don't run into that, MIGS, um, straight up roll, zero, miss, okay, NV support, fire attacks on us, uh, small arms, um, Straight up roll. Six is no. Does not hit them. MIGs, they got to attack the guy that attacked them, or they can't attack both. These guys, these other three can attack me too, and they will. I do that secondly. Against the MIG, um, that's a straight up roll. Trying to shoot down my Phantom. Six. No, he does not. And um, that brings up... And view defenses against a Skyhawk. Small arms, we're high. So they can't attack us. And the MiGs already uh, fired on the um, support. So nothing going there. So we now move into the target approach. Now I'm going to take a look at... I'll probably stay high. I'm going to take a look at my munitions. Um... And against, I'm probably going to go low and drop all these at low. I think that works best. And I, even though in the game you can jump from high to low to medium or whatever, it doesn't matter because the amount of time in, in between these things is, is a lot of, you know, a lot of airspace. So it's not like you got to climb directly. Let's face it, you go right from the carrier up to high on the, uh, the um, first event check box. So, um, but I'd like to look, let's see, we've got 250s and snake eyes, and um, if I want to use them as um, deployed, we can do um, low altitude only, and we get our best results on deployed, so we will be going through that target at low altitude. Now, I'm going to stay at high. Actually, I can go to medium, and it's not going to matter. Because the uh, small arms can't get me at medium, neither. And the MiGs can get us at any of them. MiGs can get us at any of them. It doesn't matter. So, um, we'll drop down to medium. Let's dive down. Um, no fuel checks or anything. We got, uh, oh, all this, all these should have been returned. Radar goes back on. 
I forget that step all the time. Radar back on. Um, now we reallocate. And these stay the same. And if you have two suppressed, they turn to a knocked out. And the single suppressed stay. Uh, the MIGs are still with us. Um, again, we're going to put the uh, A6s up here. And uh, we can only put one on the MIGs. But we can put two on the small arms. We'll just do that and we'll keep him around in case. So this we get extra firepower on them, but they also get the fire at these. So um, two-edged sword. U.S. support fire. Um, first off, let's check to see if the Sam's on or off. Actually, it's a needless roll right at this point, so I'm not going to do it um, because the Sam and the AAs are knocked out. Um, so U.S. support fire on the small arms. We're going to start with the F4. Uh, and we're going to roll straight up. And he rolls a 6. That's suppressed. We'll have a suppressed. Second F4. 7. Knocked out. So they won't be able to do anything against us. Might as well just take these guys and put them over here because that's not going to matter anymore. And against the MIG, straight up roll. Three misses. So actually, we're supposed to have the MIG up here. He's supposed to be following us along so we know he's still there, but he's got to fight the, the uh, support. Defensive support against, that'll be just the MIGs, straight up roll. Seven. Oh, he takes out my F4 Phantom. That's all right. We got plenty more where that came from. Now we're going to approach the target. We're going to go down to the low. We're going to put our support in there again. Again, we're going to put them there. Um, let's take one of these Phantoms in there this time against the MiGs. Um, U.S. support fire against the MiGs. Straight up roll. One misses. The MIG firing on us, not us, the MIG firing on our support. Damn! We lost another one, but at least he's keeping them off of us. Um, so now we go to dropping our ordnance on the target. So, um, ordnance drop table guide, we got uh, 250 snake eyes. And we got the 500 snake guys, and we're going to drop them in drag mode, all in a single pass. So, here we go. Boom, boom. We drop the inners, we'll drop the 500 pounders first. And we go to the Mark 82 snake eyes, 500 pounders. We're dropping deployed. We are... Actually, there's uh, multiple greens in there. That needs to be modified. Um, plus one for veteran. We have good weather. We also have... Plus one DRM. So that's plus two. And uh, we are dropping, or oh, that goes in the next one. So belay that. You didn't hear that. We have the plus one for veteran. That is it. That's all we get. And we roll once. So we roll once. We get, <laughs> Jesus. We get a two. We're off target. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, my dice hate me. Um, we go, we, now we come over here and we did drop all our ordnance of the same kind. So here's where we get this plus one for dropping the three bombs on each, and an MERA rack on each wing. So we did that. That's plus one. All ordnance of the same type is dropped in the same run. That's plus two, plus three for the DRM on the chart. So we get plus three right now. Right here on the off target, we roll four, five, six, seven. Well, at least we got 
All right, so that being said, we move the target exit. MIG follows us. These reply, he's on. We're going to bring out yet another victim for the MIGs. And we're going to go back to the um, support fire. I, I will not roll that because they're, they're still knocked out, so there's no sense. Um, attacking the MIG, no modifiers. Eight, disengaged. So we can put that there. Return him to deck. It's free sa smooth sailing from here on out. We don't need any of them. Um, we go back to... We're actually going to... Fly back over. We roll target, re-attack, roll for random event. Let's see where I put that. I'm pretty damn good at... Uh, Reattack, Skyhawk reattack, random event results. So we roll one die here, six, no event. We do do a fuel check, but we have on our persons a 500, a 400 gallon tank, and we are going to use that right now. So we pass that fuel check. We come back down to the approach, which is not going to be a problem because there's nobody here. So we can go straight right into the target again, and we're going to drop our um, 250s this time. So dropping our 250s, we go to the uh, Snake Eye 250s, and we need again a 5 to 9, and we're dropping at low altitude. So 5 to 9, and we're veteran, so we get a plus 1. And we get a four off target. Just my dice really hate me. Um, so again, we're going to get a plus one for all ordnance, a plus one for the three MER, and we're going to get a plus one for the uh, ordnance chart. So plus three. <laughs> Oh, God, that hurts. Uh, zero. Oh, Lord. And we're going to fly up out of here. We're going to go to high altitude. Nobody's there. Um, so we don't have to worry about them attacking us again. We're going to go outbound to carrier. We're going to do a fuel check. Now, we used a 400 gallon or here, so we get to go back and check that on this one. Um, 400 gallon fuel check. The first time we use it, there'll be no fuel ro fuel check roll in that box. We co we currently got it, and in the next box, calling for your fuel check, which is this one, we got to roll a d10. If it's five or greater, then we're also considered successful, and we are. So we're successful. We don't have to roll for that fuel check. Our 400 gallons paid off. Our bombs didn't, but hey, um, you know, transit the carrier. We roll on table 17. Random events, carrier transit box, six, no event. We go to carrier approach. Again, another fuel check. This one we have to roll for. We roll an eight. Internal fuel is okay. Continue to mission. Uh, we are we actually would go up to a nine because we're a veteran. And that brings us over to the trap. We're going to try to land. Modifiers are. We are veteran plus one. Seven, eight. We're successfully landed. We can go to the recovery. And I don't roll for the individual awards because that really doesn't mean anything to me. None earned anyway, but I don't like it when they... Uh, and made a comment about that we it's, it's way too easy uh, medal of honor come on you got to like walk on water for that um 
but that's just me. Don't be a Debbie Downer. And we're not doing any any campaign senior awards. Don't take take uh, any effect. So that's the mission. We we it was a damn good mission. I mean, our our guys really uh, took out the enemy here, but uh, we slacked big time right here, which is why I don't quite like the um, the. Uh, I, I know we're not supposed to be dealing with campaign stuff yet. But the campaign promotions are going to be way too easy. Just roll in after five missions. There needs to be some kind of a points uh, stipulation in there to make it uh, better or worse. So, um, anyway, that's just me. Great game. Love it. Uh, having a blast with it. Get frustrated with my cards, but I always do. So, I made my dice, so... Um, thanks for joining me. That again is Rolling Thunder Skyhawk by Stephen Dixon, Bob Best. And you all have a great night.